In this lesson we are going to be looking at an overview of Looker Studio. As you can see on the screen, at the moment what we've got is like a page layout. Basically it looks like a piece of paper and what we do on that piece of paper is we create a report. So what we are going to do is we are going to be creating different visualizations. We are going to be placing them onto this area. Then next step is to configure what's going to be shown in these visualizations. Now, as I said in the previous lesson, by default when we created the data source, what Looker Studio did was it actually created a table. So you can see that by default, now we've got this table here. And what you're going to find is that we then configure the way that this table is shown. So what we use is dimensions. If you click on this table, you will see dimension box here. And we also use metrics, as you can see here. And basically the fields that go in there will then determine what will be shown in the visualization. So we are going to go into this in a lot more detail later on in the course. But basically that is how it works. If you go down on this, you will see different options for this table that we have. As you can see we have some sort options, secondary sort, data range, filter and so on. But as I mentioned we will be covering this later on in the course. Besides this, we have also styling option. If we click on this button here, we will have different options for styling. You can try this on your own for now, just to check what options we have, but as I mentioned, we will go into details later on in the course. Also, we've got our data pane and properties pane, and basically you can see if you want to actually more space, when you are actually configuring your report and setting it up, then you can actually turn these off. Let's try this. So basically now they are turned off and you have more space for this report creating. But for now I'm going to put them back on. Now let's go to the top of this report. As you can see, we are able to see our report name. Actually I'm going to change this name and I will call it sales report. Sales report, press enter and that's it. If we go down a little bit, you've got traditional sort of menu system. You can see that there is a number of different options that are within our system menu. So let's see some of them. We have file option, also edit option, view, insert. As you can see from here, you can insert different type of charts. Also page options to modify this page here, arrange options resources which is also important for us if you remember in previous lessons we used this first option to manage our data sources and also below we have also some options for undo for example zoom in zoom out add new page to add new data chart other different of visualizations we have also this option add a control basically if you use some of them we will be able to filter data we have some other options to include URL, to insert images, text, lines, and so on. Also, the important option is this theme and layout. Let's click on that. And if I click on that, I will be able to choose some other theme for my report. For now, I will stay on this one, but I just wanted to show you this option. If you choose some of these options, we can also customize it. And later on in this course, we will be also working with that. As I mentioned, we also have a layout and here we can, for example, change canvas size. So how big this page will be. Also, we have some other options, but we will also cover that later on. Okay, this is everything for this lesson. See you in the next one.